Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we will be painting a platoon of Falschemjägers. Uh, these are from the Bolt Action line of Warlord Games. As you can see, they were being started and then they just kind of got shelved. So, today I'm hoping to go ahead and finish all 50 plus of these infantry and show you guys how I go about doing so. Here is the list of paints that will be used in this project. Alright, first off, we're going to use Splitter Master Base from AK Interactive. We're going to thin this down with our thinner and use the airbrush to give it a nice base coat to all the uniforms. However, I wasn't paying attention when I did this. As you can see, I still have the cap on the airbrush and put it into the cap. That's okay. Just dump it into the pot. All right, so now we're laying down our base coat on the jackets. For this army, I'm going to use a splinter camo to represent a late uh, war Falschmjäger platoon fighting in Europe. Or now we're mixing our base coat with some deck tan to give a lighter color and we're going to dry brush it over the jackets. My plan is to uh, wash the jackets and so I just wanted to give a quick highlight to everything before I did. So originally I had painted the canteen or the uh, uh, dark green areas with a black green from Pro Krill but I did not like it so I'm using Pro Krill's dark camo green to go back over all that and this I was much happier with gave the impression of the old uh, the Germans dark green uh, metal helmets I also used it for the canteens and they also have a little canister that they carry around and I went ahead and used the same color So the German Fallschirmjägers throughout the war had changed up their paint color. They used to have the old Luftwaffe blue, but some of them started going around with the German field gray, and that's what I went with, just to keep everything nice and uniform. So painting all their trousers and some of the caps with German field gray. Using the AK's Waffen Red Brown, I start blocking in the brown camouflage of the Splinter Camo. Now, they're not really supposed to be blobs, but with this scale, you can probably get away with a little bit. Just try to keep your lines straight, though. Switching over to the Splitter Muster Green Spots from AK. We now black in all the green camo on the splinter camo. So moving to Pro, Pro Krill's black brown, I start basing all the leather. This is the boots, the belts, and some of the pouches that weren't canvas. And I also use it to block in anything wood such as the rifles and trenching tools. During the filming and painting of this army, I managed to get a hold of Pro Krill's new paints and threw out the khaki for all the canvas pouches. Very happy with the color. Now that everything except for the skin and some highlights are blocked in, it's time to give everything a nice, good, thorough wash. I use Angrax Earthshade from GW 
mixed in with some medium 50 50 and this way it doesn't stain the bottle too much i want it to get in the depths without completely taking away from the color When the wash is dry, I bust out Pearl Krill's burnt orange and start highlighting all the wood. This is the canteen, water canteen, the handle of the trenching tool, along with the rifles. Moving on to the skin tone, I use AK's Beige Red. To block out all the hands and faces while trying to make sure I don't get the helmet straps. And lastly, using Army Painter's Soft Skin Wash, I go ahead and go through and apply it all over the skin. And this will end the false meagers.